Hey folks, every year I'm, I'm amazed when this guy come out, comes out at Halloween time. This is a, a chainsaw carving by a local and we're just, I'm just amazed at uh, some of the details that he's that he put on it. This is one of the most amazing things. He also hollowed it, hollowed it out so he could put, I guess, maybe a candle in it or a light in it if he wanted to. Must have been a pretty small chainsaw, I guess. It's pretty neat. Just thought I'd show that. I think I'll stick to uh, the little stuff. My right, Dookie. My right, Dookie. So these are the little pieces of scrap that you saw me uh, carve the little Santa ornaments out of. Continuing to use those up and let's see what we can come up with with this little bat. It is exactly four inches long and it's a little over an inch and a quarter. Make your uh, proportions a little bit smaller or bigger, depending on what size you've got. And the thickness of it is, uh, it's right at a quarter, quarter inch. So right at the two inch, which is halfway, right at the two inch line, you can see where I've got right here. That's right between his, right between, halfway between his ears. It's also between his eyes, the two inch point. It is the midway point on his two little buck teeth that he's got sticking out there. And it is also splitting his little feet. We're going to give him, I'm going to attempt here to give him a couple of little feet so he can stand up and maybe have the points of his wings to help him stand like this if you'd like. So everything in the middle is two inches. Um, and I guess uh, another points of interest are these points on his wing are almost seven eighths, probably from both sides. Yes, seven eighths of an inch in on both sides are these little points. And let's. Let's start with this one, which is probably a little less. On the bottom, you've got uh, three quarters of an inch on each one of those first points at the bottom there. And also, if you'd like to be exactly what I've got, three eighths of an inch up on these little points out here, three eighths from the bottom to here, three eighths of an inch. Okay. Okay. So I'd go over those again, but I don't remember what they were. So if you need to hear it again, just rewind and, uh, you can get them, you can get those uh, dimensions there again. So, of course, what we're going to do is first is take out the excess. Let's take it out on top first because that'll probably be the most wood that we take out. And then we're going to come back. This spot right here 
this comes up. This was just a rounding that I did to get from point A to point B, A to B. But this will not, not be there. This is also going to be part of his wing. We're going to cut that out. We're going to cut this out. And this, and this, this, this. Okay? So, let's go on and take the big knife and cut off. Let's chunk off a lot of this. So you can start close to his head at first, and then as you get close to this point, then you can come down below that point and start taking off more. I like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Now, if you are printing a pattern, it might be easier to, to draw it on the back side as well so that you've got visible points on the back side. I'm going to just eyeball front to back as we go here. I'm cl getting close to this point, so then I'm going to come back on the other side of that point and start taking it off inside here. I just thought you guys would like to see that, uh, that chainsaw carve that uh, my mother-in-law got us several years ago. But I do like to see it. I'm amazed by it, absolutely. I uh, really go over it every time that it comes out. And it's funny that I just started wood carving last year and it, uh, maybe that's why. Maybe that was part of why like seeing him so much. Just taking off little bits underneath now. Take a little more off up here. Make sure you've got your uh, gloves on. Especially if you're a beginner. Alright, now I am going to... We're going to cut these in just on the surface side. Not all the way through like this. I'm just going to cut it. Make those distinctions. Just so you can see them out here. And then we'll go with the rest of the thickness of the wood and match it all the way through. Like so. Same thing here. And we're going to change knives because that one is too big for what we're doing. Now the little lines that I've drawn from the top of his wing to the bottom of his wing, kind of like those little lines that you see. I think he's got like fingers. His bat's fingers start at the top and then they come all the way down to the bottom. We'll call them his fingers. And we'll probably cut on the either side of this and leave those pronounced at the top and try to take 
Try to take just a little bit out on the inside. Unless that's you know, too hard to do. And we're taking another little V cut out right there. Now we'll go side to side to match. Like so. And we'll continue over to the other side. Avoid his little feet for now. I really don't know what we're going to do with the feet yet. I, I drew, penciled some in, so we'll see what we come up with when we get to that point. Let's do the same thing here. Make sure your knife is good and sharp. Makes this so much easier, especially since we're carving a lot of against the grain. You know, the grain is running this way on this little piece, so we're going to do a lot of this against the grain. Not too hard. This is, it's only quarter inch piece thickness wise, so it's, we don't have a, a long way to go. So now let's go up to the top and we're going to attempt to take out this little area up here. You know, here Duke behind me chewing on his piece of wood. He's helping me make wood chips. So what I'm doing here is I'm a cut down beside his ears. And we're going to leave those ears a little thicker because the last time I tried one, which was bat frog up there, I cut the whole top of his ear off. And wasn't even cutting real hard either. So we're going to do what we can to avoid that. this time and shaving off a little at a time there Let's go up to the very top. What we're, we're going to do is take that little V out on the very top. Go inside the V first and then work your way out just a little bit. And then work your way across the whole piece. Don't worry about how much you've got here. We'll we'll get that later. <clears throat> All right, let's come over to the other side. Take your little B cut out of there. Bring it over to your line. Just, you've got your V cut here. You've got a line cut. So now just go start to follow your this line all the way around. And it's the easiest way to do it is just to take your tip of your knife and just follow it. And then cut it off. Do that then you can go back and get more this way on the back side so it starts to shape out 
Okay, so on the top, let's let's make this V a little wider. One thing we're going to take pencil marks out and not make those ears look as flat on top. So we can now take, let's take this corner off. We're going to start to round these flatness, this flatness on top. See that? And same thing back here. Just take a little bit of that flatness off. The pieces that what I consider to be, you know, the blocks of wood are my bread and butter, so to speak. The uh, one by ones and the one and halves and the one and a quarters and the one and three quarters and the two inch square blocks. That's what I do. That's what that's what I normally carve. So it's nice to be able to use these up. Okay, that's a pretty good start. So this little line now that separates the body and the wing, we're going to put a V-cut here, and we're going to put a V-cut here, here, and here. Like so, just kind of like we did at the bottom. We were kind of just separating. Just kind of gradually work your way up there. And do the same on the top. And work your way down to that other V cut. off a little bit give it some depth all right let's do the same thing here now if you guys are new and just out searching around for <clears throat> some Halloween projects carvings um, you can see here in front of me I've got several that I've done these are just this season um, there's uh, the little witch and the ghost and the pumpkin head with the with the bow tie and the jack-o'-lantern and the cat. The cat I did not do a, a carving video, but uh, I did a painting video on it. So if you'd like to see any of those, and I'll put uh, I'll put links in the description for all of these. If you're just looking for a, a Halloween type of carving to do, as I know this time of year, a lot of people like to go out and Look and see what they can find, what's new out there. All of these I've done within the last uh, about a month or so. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's put little V cuts on the top of his feet here, just on this corner. One there, one there. Probably gonna have to deepen those up just a little bit and take the outside edge off.
and we'll come back and put a little v-cut in at the top of his feet here let's go on and split his feet there too A little f split for his shoes. <laughs> shoes or feet or whatever you want to, whatever you want to call them there. And deepen that in. Try to even them out just a little bit. Side to side. He's still standing. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of some pencil lines. If we can't deepen these in just a little bit, be very careful so we don't cut off the tips of his toes. Round his feet off. Hmm. Round him down. Let's take them in on the bottom here. Just thin them out a little bit so they're not as thick. Okay, so let's see up there on his ears. The original lines that I had drawn in for the for the inside of the ears they're not exactly where I want them to be now so what I'm going to do is we're just going to shave off we're going to shave off all the front And then I'm going to draw some, some new ear centers back in. So I can get them, I want to get them in the, more in the middle. And we're just going to take a, a smaller one probably here. We'll just make a little little V so we can take a little V out of there so it looks like we've hollowed out the inside part of his ear all right so we're gonna go straight in and straight in again. Hopefully we can pop that out. Same thing on the other side, straight in. And straight in. A 
Let's try to pop that out too. All right, so now we can we can angle it and give him a, a little pointier, make him a little pointier if we want. You might just want to just leave them exactly as they are. Take off your little edges. You know what? I think we're going to go a little bit deeper. Not deeper, but maybe just a little bigger. Doesn't that look a little better? So let's go just above where we've already cut and continue down that same triangle line. That's a little better. Let's just take off all the little sharp points. And we can draw those lines back in if we need to. Some of this is going to end up being flat. The surface, that's okay. We're only a quarter inch deep. So we can be a little flat if we want to. We've already got that a little bit. See the difference now between this side and this side? We cut those little, little angles in. All right, so I've got him those little cartoon eyes painted in there. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's let's do this first. Let's go around back on the back side of the carve and just take out all those little edges. Just like we did on the front. It goes the little edges off so they're not sharp and pointy. And you can also, I got a lot of fuzzies on the back side of mine because this was a cut side of a piece of wood. So you can also take those, if you're like me and you've got, got a lot of a cut wood look, you can take those off. Just take the surface off. But I thought since I was trying to make it so it would stand, we'll try to make the back look like a little something too, maybe. And I'm going to go ahead and split his feet in the back. Oops. Right there. Okay, back to the front. See here, I've got some little car cartoon eyes drawn in there. While you enjoy the my high school band, I'm gonna go on and just cut those in, nice and easy, because we're not gonna take a whole lot out. Take my glasses up so I can see a little better. And we'll go on the inside here. And take those eyes those edges out <clears throat> flatten it out real good so we can paint some eyes in there we can 
can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, so on the nose, I'm just going to make a, a little slit on both sides. The bat has a funny looking little nose. Really small. Alright, so see how his the ears and the side of his head come straight down. So let's let's put a little V cut in on both sides here. So we kind of separate separate the ears from the head. It's going to be going to be tough if you don't have a nice thin knife. To make this cut that comes back up this other half of this V cut. Something like that. Let's take the backs of these ears forward also. And just do the same thing on the other side where we're separating. Make a little difference between the head and the ears. Just thin it out underneath here. And just shape them up a little bit. So I went in here and I rounded off these little edges all the way around on the corners of the wings. And if I didn't mention it a while ago, I'm not going to. I'm not going to put the little fingers in there. We'll just paint those in. Because I, I tried it a little bit and it just didn't look didn't look like what I thought it was going to, so 
we'll just paint some heavier black and then some lighter maybe some gray all right let me get my gloves on here and we will work on this mouth and finish him up so we're going to try to get these teeth in here big old buck teeth we're going to put on his front here so let's just go on and get started follow your line on both sides be easier first Let me take these little glasses off so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, now let's go under on the bottom. Down the sides. And teeth are coming out the mouth on top, so let's let's leave them alone there on top. Let's not put a line in there. Let's not cut them in. So we'll angle this knife real good and deepen them in here. Take that little edge off between the feet and the mouth. Hard to hold a little guy this small. 